Blessed morning everyone. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay handa para mag-aral muli ng salita na ng Panginoon. And at the same time, as we begin our day with a prayer and reading the Word of God in our lives, patuloy tayo na ingatan ng Panginoon, tulungan at gabayan sa pamagitan ng Kanyang Banal na Spirito. So today, as we continue to study the Word of God, let us pray and ask the power of the Holy Spirit to be with us throughout the day. Father God in heaven, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Tunay nga po, napakabuti mo sa aming mga buhay. Patuloy na pagharian mo ang buhay ng bawat isa sa amin habang kami ay nagpapasakop sa iyong kapangyarihan at iyong kaluwalhatian. Nandito muli kami, Ama, nagpapakumbaba, humihingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming kasalanan sa isip, salita, at sa gawa. Maraming salamat sa iyong pangako sa 1 John 1.9 that if we confess our sins, you are always just and faithful to forgive us and purify us from all our unrighteousness. So today, as we lift up everything unto your perfect hands, we ask the power of your Holy Spirit to be with us, to open our hearts, mind, spiritually, to study your word and understand it and apply it every day of our lives. I pray for my brothers and sisters who are here with us today. May you bless them every guest and aspect of their lives as we begin our day with you in your glorious presence. We do believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things in our lives as you speak unto our hearts through your word that gives hope, life, and strength. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. And to you alone, we give our highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of, of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So today, mga kapatid, ang pag-aralan natin ay tungkol muli sa panalangin. So last week, we studied the purpose of prayer. Ngayon po, we studied the power of prayer. At ang teksto natin ay matatagpuan sa Book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. Sinabi dito, Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the three o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man lay from birth was being carried in. Each day, he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the Beautiful Gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, Look at us. The lame man looked at them eagerly, expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, get up and walk. Then Peter took the lame man by the right hand and helped him up. And as he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and began to walk. Then walking, leaping, and praising God, he went into the temple with them. All the people saw him walking and heard him praising God. When they realized he was the lame beggar they had seen so often at the beautiful gate, they were absolutely outstanding. They all rushed out in amazement to Solomon's colonnade, where the man was holding tightly to Peter in John. So today, mga kapatid, makita natin dito sa senaryo na to na si Peter at saka si John ay pumunta to attend a prayer service. So, ano nga ba ang gustong tukuyin ng Panginoon dito? Walang iba kundi magkaroon tayo. Una, magkaroon tayo ng personal, intimate relationship with the Lord. Ito yung quality time natin with the Lord. Sinabi nga sa verse 1, Peter and John went to the temple one after two to take part in the 3 o'clock prayer service. Noong time ng mga Jews doon, mayroon silang uh, prayer schedule 
your morning uh, prayer service, afternoon prayer service, and the evening prayer service, which is the sunset prayer. So dito, during the time in the afternoon uh, prayer service, pumunta si John at saka si Peter. So alam natin na si Peter and John, they were the it, what they are the part of the inner circle of Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry on earth. So dito natin makikita na at itong dalawang apostles na to, they stayed long the longer longer in the presence of the Lord when during his earthly ministry. So dito natin makikita na after Jesus ascended into heaven. Ito yung nangyari na scenario na Peter and John were being uh, going to the temple wherein they will be attending a, a prayer service. So, dito natin makita na uh, they have this quality time with the Lord. At patuloy na ginagawa nila dito noon after when Jesus Christ ascended to heaven. Sila na yung nagpatuloy sa mga ginagawa ng Paginoong Heso Kristo noon. So, makita natin dito na if we have the initiative to commit ourselves to God, makikita natin na God will work in our lives. So, pangalawa po, they were empowered by the Holy Spirit. Tignan po natin sa verse 6, sinabi dito, But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Get up and walk. So, dito makikita natin na they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they are declaring the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as they are, as they were been ministering to this uh, lame man. Nakita natin na hindi wala man silang mga material na bagay, which is uh, money. Pero ang sinabi ni Peter don is, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. So, anong meron sila? Walang iba kundi ang pag-ibig at yung presensya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanilang buhay. At iyon yung binigay nila. Sabi niya, in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazareth, get up and walk. So, what are they doing? They are under the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, makita natin dito na they acknowledge the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. At dito rin nakikita natin na after that, na sinabi nila sa uh, layman na yun, nakita natin yung compassionate heart to help others to stand and rise up. Kaya nakikita natin sometimes in our lives, hindi man tayo lumpo sa physical na buhay, pero sometimes, every areas and some, some areas of our lives, lumpo tayo. Halimbawa lang, di po ba, minsan, uh, akala natin, akala natin malakas na tayo sa ating pananampalataya. Pero when trials, problems, or challenges will come on our way, nagkakaroon na tayo ng doubts, worries, nagkakaroon na tayo ng nalulumpo na tayo sa mga problema, nalulumpo na tayo sa mga uh, mga agam-agam, sa takot, Di ba minsan, ganun din po tayo. Pero, makikita rin natin dito na Peter and John has this compassionate heart to help others to rise and shine. So, dito natin makita sa verse 7, sinabi dito, Then Peter took the layman by the right hand and helped him up. And as he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed and strengthened. So, magkakaroon din po tayo ng mga uh, halimbawa, mga godly people with godly wisdom who strengthen us, who encourage us to rise up, to stand up, na patuloy tayo na ang ating paniniwala ay hindi nakabase dito sa mga mundong ibabaw, hindi nakabase sa mga material na bagay, hindi nakabase sa mga makamundong bagay na nakikita natin, na akala natin, nandoon yung security natin, nandoon yung kaligtasan natin, pero, Pinakita dito ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, Heso Kristo na it's only in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we are being healed, we are being restored, we are being transformed. At dito natin makikita na sa pamamagitan lang ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, magkaroon tayo yung bagong buhay. At iyon po ang sinabi dito na uh, sometimes God allowed problems, trials in our lives for us to acknowledge Him that He is the ultimate source of everything that we have. At dito na din makita natin na 
si Peter, nagkaroon siya ng compassionate heart to help others for the, and he helped them others to stand and rise up. So, dito rin in the fellowship of uh, fellow believers, so ito kinakailangan din natin na magkaroon tayo ng regular fellowship with uh, fellow believers or magkaroon din po tayo ng uh, fellowship sa mga tao na alam natin na mas mature sa atin, mas uh, kumbaga mas ma mataas yung pananampalataya nila sa atin Bec kasi sometimes na kung dumating yung mga problema, dumating yung mga pagsubok sa buhay natin, hindi natin kayang tumayo sa ating sarili kundi kinakailangan din natin someone who will uh, help us to stand up, help us to rise up and dito natin makita the love the peace that comes from God alone na ginagamit niya rin ang mga tao for us to experience God's love in our lives at uh, magkakaroon talaga yung power of prayer if we really have this intimate relationship with God over our lives at paano natin makikita na there is a power of prayer di po ba si Peter and John before the before the minister to other people makita natin na hindi lang isang beses sila pupunta sa temple para magpray kundi uh, for that long long uh, period of time na naging disciple siya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo at pinagpatuloy nila nandoon yung uh, mature spiritual maturity nila nandoon yung uh, intimate relationship nila sa Panginoon. Ito yung consistent prayer life nila o lagi lifestyle nila yung prayer. Kaya dito rin na makikita natin na God works in ways if we really have that faith in our lives at nakababad tayo sa banal na presensya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. And sometimes God will speak unto us through His Word and sometimes we hear that small, still voice through uh, praying with Him or communicating with him kagaya yung sinabi ni uh, Ma'am Jazz di po ba God hears also and we also need to hear also his voice over our lives hindi lang po one way communication kundi two way communication with the Lord so on prayer hindi lang one way communication kundi it's a two way communication with the Lord kaya kinakailangan din natin uh, God hears us and also we need also to hear God's voice in our lives for us to know His direction, for, for us to know His instruction, and to be empowered by the Holy Spirit in our lives. Kung ano talaga yung leading ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, kung ano yung leading ng Banal Spirito sa ating buhay. So dito, hindi nag-hesitate si Peter and John nung lumapit yung lumpong uh, uh, lalaki sa kanila. Hindi sila nag-atubili, kundi they really have that confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ na wala ba silang material na bagay, pero ang meron sila, ang banal na presensya ng Panginoong Heso Kristo at iyon po yung binigay nila. So, makita natin dito na they have this intentional, missional, evangelical, and transformational uh, message to this man dahil dito natin makita na after after na healed or after na gumaling na yung lumpong uh, lalaki, siya po ay nagpore. Basahin natin sa verse 8, sabi dito, all he jumped up and stood on his feet and began to walk. Then walking, leaping, and praising God, he went into the temple with them. So, makita natin dito na uh, God works in ways we cannot see. He's an amazing God. He works in a mysterious ways na uh, imagine for how long na nagstay yung uh, lumpong lalaki doon sa beautiful gate wherein doon nakikita na dadaanan lagi pero nung time na yun na pumunta si Peter and John it was a divine appointment for him to encounter God upon his life at uh, pagkatapos sa pagkatapos noon when he was being healed hindi uh, he was been leaping walking and praising God at hindi lang yun hindi lang siya nagrejoice hindi lang siya naging full of joy kundi Sumama kina Peter and John in the temple. So, dito natin makikita sometimes in our lives, God will use our uh, disabilities, our weaknesses, our problems, our trials for us also to encounter and experience God's power in our lives. At, some, at dito, makita rin natin na through the life of Peter and John, he was, they were a man full of prayer. At dito natin nakita yung power of prayer in their lives na uh, di, nakita nila nakita natin how God works in in their lives 
and through their lives. So, dito makita natin na God is a miracle working God. He's a God of power. He's an omnipotent God. He's all powerful God. And He knows the best for us. Kaya mga kapatid, huwag tayong mawala ng pag-asa. Huwag tayong uh, manghinayang kung uh, every day of our lives, nandun lagi tayo na we devote most of our time or uh, first in our lives, every day of our lives, pinaprioritize natin ang makipag-communicate uh, or to pray with God every day of our lives dahil hindi natin alam who knows ikaw din ang gagamitin ng Panginoon to have this uh, mission work na share also the power of God in your life to other people for God's glory and His honor. Sa so, mga kapatid, uh, continue to have this uh, quality, intimate relationship with God. We'll have this uh, intentional uh, commitment with God and also patuloy din tayo magkaroon ng uh, acknowledgement that we put God first in our lives and we acknowledge His authority over our lives as we will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit every day of our lives. At dito na makikita natin na uh, we really need God in our lives. We really need a Savior in our lives and it's only through the power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. At sinabi nga po sa Mark 11, di po ba? Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I tell you, and whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. So, mga kapatid, let's continue to have this intimate relationship with the Lord every day of our lives. So, kama wala ng pag-asa, kapatid. Malamang sa mga oras na to, dumadaan ka sa matinding pagsubok, ma uh, matinding sakit, Huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa because kung sino yung Panginoong Heso Kristo na nagpagaling sa lumpong lalaki na to, siya pa rin ang Diyos noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. Kailangan lang natin magkaroon ng pagtitiwala, pananampalataya, at lalong-lalo na yung personal relationship natin sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, I hope and pray that you have been inspired, you will be encouraged sa word of the Lord na patuloy din tayo na magkaroon ng uh, quality prayer life with the Lord. So, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your holy name. Truly indeed that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. We thank you because you know the best for us. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na magkaroon kami ng mas malalim pa na pagkakilala sa iyo at magkaroon po kami ng mas malalim pa na relasyon sa iyo. Kung ano man po, Panginoon, ang nakikita mo na hindi ka lugod-lugod o hindi ka aya-aya sa iyong mga mata, patuloy na pakalinisin mo kami, tulungan mo kami, imold mo kami para maging kami yung mga anak mo na gusto mo mangyari sa aming buhay according to your will and plans in our lives. Tulungan mo rin mga kapatid na dumadana sa mga matinding pagsubok, lalong-lalo na sa mga uh, malulubhang sakit. Tulungan mo po sila, Panginoon, magkaroon ng pag-asa, pananampalataya at pananalig sa iyo na ikaw pa rin ang Diyos na nagpapagaling sa lahat ng mga may, lahat ng mga sakit sa aming mga physical, spiritual, emotional, mental na aming aspeto ng aming mga buhay. Tulungan mo rin po kami na magkaroon po kami ng uh, malalim na pagtitiwala sa iyo, Ama, dahil apart from you, we are nothing but in your glorious presence we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. Yakapin mo po ang bawat isa sa amin lalong lalo na yung nangangailangan ng kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo. Patuloy mo sila, Panginoon, ay pagkaloob ang kagalingan at kapayapaan sa kanilang mga buhay because you are our ultimate Jehovah Jireh. Ganon din po, Ama, yung mga nangangailangan ng mga resources, Ama, para matugunan ang kanilang pangangailangan. We do believe by faith that you are our ultimate Jehovah Jireh. Our God will supply all our needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. 
At ngayon ama sa nalalapit na aming pag-celebrate ng Christmas, may you put in our hearts the true reason and that is to celebrate that you are Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior in our lives. Kung meron pa po mga aking mga kapatid na wala pang malalim na relasyon sa iyo, we lift up them up unto you, Lord, as you open their hearts, minds, spiritually, that they may come to know the truth and the truth will set them free. As you said in John 14:6, Jesus is only the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through you alone, Lord Jesus. I pray, continue to bless them every areas and aspect of their lives, kasama ang kanilang mga buong pamilya. We thank you, Father, for your everlasting love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. And to you alone, we give our highest praises, honor, and thanksgiving. In the mighty, sweet, precious, holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Thank you, mga kapatid. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay nandun yung kagalakan, kapayapaan, nakasama natin ang Panginoong Heso Kristo sa ating buhay. Have a blessed day and thank you. God loves you. Bye!